jump right in because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, first and foremost, I think everyone's main focus this season, at least on the fan side, is Rin's baby. Uh, that was quite a uh, shocker at the end of the season. And then the teaser trailer for the third season, I think, blew everyone's mind when that popped in. We were just like, wait a minute, what the heck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, when um, when we read the finale for season two, you know, and I, I said to Eric, I was like, wait a second, so there's a baby? Are we going to have a baby if we go to season three? Like, how is that going to work? Like, and he's like, you'll see. And then uh, it's been it's been magical. It's been absolutely it's it's been one of my favorite seasons uh, because I got to work with a baby. Yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. Well, how does that kind of impact Rin this season? Because we can see that war is coming to Bristol Cove, and you know, as the mm. pseudo leader of the mermaids and the appearance of Tia, I can only imagine that things aren't going to be as easy for Rin as she wants them to be. No, Rin, Rin is facing a, a huge challenge. Um, this baby has made her so much more protective. There's even more to fight for. Um, it's like every every time the stakes just go up so much, and this is probably the ultimate, right? Mm-hmm. Your, own, your own baby. Um, Rin's very protective, um, but the baby's kind and being a mother has especially being a mother in human form sometimes, you know, because that's how she um, sees the baby the first time. It kind of uh, really forces her, not forces her, but it deepens her emotional flexibility. It deepens her emotional growth. So she she's loving deeper. She is fighting harder. Um, and she has so much more to fight for. She was already uh, alpha from... Mm-hmm you know, out of the Bristol Cove clan. She has Ben and Maddie, uh, that kind of community of Bristol Cove. There's so much to keep safe now. So uh, the tension is high. She's uh, facing a big challenge. But at the same time, um, I think it also gives her extra drive. Mm -hmm. You know, she's never been more focused and driven than in this season in a way because there's, yeah, there's so much at stake. Well, can you explain a little bit about Rin's relationship with Tia? Yeah. Well, Tia is an unprecedented kind of character uh, in our world because this is an, a mermaid who's super advanced in human knowledge. Mm-hmm. She speaks the language fluently. She knows technology. She's, you know, she she moves like a human. Her, phys- her physicality is so natural. It's like she blends in with with human world so mm-hmm. Rin's kind of and I think other people too when they first meet her kind of in awe of her kind of mesmerized and impressed and taken aback um, and when she then divulges her her point of view her perspective on on the situation on you know situation of mermaids versus humans humans mm-hmm. versus mermaids her philosophy is very sound her reasoning is you know the woman's got a point. Um, and so I think we're, we're kind of, dare I say, like lulled into a, a very vague trust. Mm-hmm. And then obviously uh, we, we get a harsh wake-up call that she, she means business. And she has a great kind of, yeah, uh, reasoning. But even with good intentions, your, your actions can can get lost Mm -hmm. in in that kind of obsessive journey so um it it'll be a very big challenge and a very probably the most worthy adversary um that we've ever faced because this like i said tia knows about the humans but she also knows about our world our Mm -hmm. man-made world hope that at first initial meeting that they they could work together and you know, actually bring something good to Bristol Cove because, I mean, the last couple of seasons have just been, everything looks good, and then it's like, well, we're just going to drop the other shoe. Yes, exactly. But I also feel that her introduction plus adding on the baby uh, with Rin is going to really provide a growth for the character over the season. 
absolutely absolutely this is um like i was i, was, I actually said this before but um this season i feel like wind grows or has to grow so much in so many different ways that there are moments where i was like wow this this is almost doesn't feel like rin anymore you mm-hmm. know from season one but that's just bec- you know that's just the the character's journey that she's had to go on um i mean it's still rin obviously i just mm-hmm. mean she's has she has to come such a long way in this season to 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 really keep her ground and keep everyone safe and navigate you know her world is so simple when she started when it when she started out everything was so simple and so black and white and so straightforward and now she has you know which comes with being in a position of responsibility i guess you have mm-hmm. to make very tough decisions sacrifices um and sometimes you get knocked back you get beaten down in in very heavy ways mm-hmm. and so it it's it's one of my it's the best season i think it's amazing well, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect between Rin, Ben, and Maddie? Because we know Ben has a big secret leading into the uh, series premiere, season premiere, and how that secret is going to affect their relationship. Yeah, I mean, I think their relationship will be tested um, like it hasn't been before um, because of this thing, because of this secret that Ben carries, and if if you know in season one already when, you know, when Levi and Katrina were out and mm-hmm. uh, Xander was on a rampage to hurt uh, Donna and all that stuff, Maddie and Ben have very different opinions on how to go about things. And I think that's always been a little bit of an Achilles heel in their relationship, even before Rin came along. You know, mm-hmm. they, they, they see taking action uh, in a very diff- in very different ways. And so if when Maddie finds out about Ben's thing, I think that's going to be a real test for those two mm-hmm. in, in how they see each other. Um, I think Rin, you know, what Ben did, Rin was there. Rin kind of understands. Like, mm-hmm. that's the way, it's the ocean's way, right? Mm-hmm. Um I kill or you kill. It, it, that's just the, the harsh reality. He he did what he thought was best to protect, and Rin gets that probably even more now that she's a a mother, you know. <laughs> um, but ha, but how does that then influence the trio? Like you have, if you have such a such a yeah, a lack troubled communication and troubled opinion between them two so uh long story short because i mumble of trying to be cryptic and i give terrible answers so i'm just going to say that it, it'll put a real <laughs> it'll put a real test for them um uh, especially because for rin things is you know she doesn't really understand she's like we love each other let's just love each other what's the problem mm-hmm. and obviously Humans, you know, we're much more complicated than that, right? We have to go to therapy. No, um, <laughs> it's just uh, she, find, <laughs> she finds it hard to understand. The trio will be put to the test. Well, what do you think Rin's biggest priority will be this season? Will it be protecting her clan, protecting the baby, or protecting, you know, her relationship with Ben and maddie because she's got so much going on that i would assume it would be her baby but also how do you protect everyone else when you know you're you're a mom Mm. um i think obviously baby is number one Mm -hmm. but um for rin i think ultimately it's about protecting her love um whoever you know whoever falls under that umbrella um they'll all they'll all come first this season because i don't want to choose between my baby and and my you know my love yeah. um but i'll just so yeah protecting protecting those she loves till the bitter end as much as she can um yeah well i'm excited to see <laughs> 
I'm excited to see yeah. her do, um, basically, it looks like a lot of action this season, a lot more than the past two seasons. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about that? Ah, uh, it's been brilliant. It's been, I mean, I'm obviously biased, but it's also why, why I've loved this season. Like, the action is the most we've ever done. Uh in, in every kind of environment, under any, under so many different circumstances, um, my one of my favorite things was uh, learning to do spear fighting. Uh, and by learning, I mean, you know, we got the choreography and then we shot it the day after. But so I tried to practice a lot in the weekend mm -hmm. with uh, my, you know, colleagues and, and stunt people and stuff who, you know, became friends by the end of it. Uh, and I loved that so much because this world is very physical mm -hmm. and and I feel like it, it's a very good way to uh, express that and, and you you have to be in it, you have to commit. So I love those kinds of things. Um, and also underwater, the action uh, was increased. So we we had to really um, up our game in, in terms of water work, breath hold, um, choreography, um, and, and working together, right, which is very hard when you're, you can't really see underwater and all that stuff. So um, probably under, the underwater stuff I'm so excited to, mm -hmm. to see because we really worked hard on that and gave it a lot of love and there's some magical, magical moments coming. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I hope it pays off. Like the first time I saw the baby, you know, it mm -hmm. was the first time I saw the the baby and what they did with her it was so beautiful so yeah very excited about all the action <laughs> has the underwater scene megan yeah. megan we have time for one more question perfect um has the underwater scenes gotten easier since season one yeah like for, for me yeah because i've you know i've done so many of them now so i feel very at ease and very confident and I mean, confident as in, I feel like I know my body, I know what I can do, and the other actors too. Um, so in that sense, yes. But obviously, you know, they know we're getting more at these in the water. So they're upping their game in what they're writing, mm -hmm. right? So it, there's still uh, some challenges, especially um, in this season three, we're trying to do some... And also, we're, we're trying to really do more storytelling underwater. Um, like, I've been working, like, I was kind of pitching uh, the language from the, from season one. I've been trying to see what language they were using underwater. So uh, I was allowed to develop that and um, so cool. work on that, uh, and which you'll also see in the show, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so, yeah, uh, easier and yet... Uh, more challenging at the same time. Perfect.